Okay. So presently you have driven inside of what was the volcano itself because the volcano was the entire super region. It used to be the main mountain. But since it collapsed, it's from what we are in today, called a caldera. And the caldera means a collapsed crater. The area of the caldera is 12 kilometers square and that is 4 kilometers in diameter. So within the caldera region, what is doing on this side is the only active part. And the formation happened between 32 to 39,000 years ago. There was also a last eruption recorded, but that was in the year 1766. And it was a phreatic blast with hot gas, rocks, and ashes. Since then, it has been just bubbling and filling. But it can erupt one day only through the building up of pressure or plate tectonic movement. But it's been monitored all the time. And in the crater area to my left hand side of the back, there's a small community. Less than a hundred people live back there. But they mostly farm because the volcanic soil is rich. The plants grow very well. Mm -hmm. And they take a bath in there in this little pool because the water temperature in there is really nice and warm. It's like 77 to about 86 degrees Fahrenheit. It depends on how hot the day goes, you can get up to 86 Fahrenheit. And it's not a very deep pool, it's about two to two and a half feet. Very shallow. Also on this side here, you can see this belt in the past and it got reconstructed in the early 1900s, at the 1902, by a local businessman called Charles de Real. There's a temperature of the water that comes out of there, it's really hot, it is 45 degrees Celsius, which is 115 degrees Fahrenheit. And this water here is also very concentrated with the mineral iron, so it's not drinkable. That's why you can see the rusty color around yeah. the top layer. If you consume this water, it can cause brain damage and constipation, which is not very good, neither one nor the other. So we do not. <laughs> but if you take a bath in it, it's good for your skin and it's good for your joints. That's why we take the bath at the entrance, lower down, where they have the mineral water. And it's not clear like this, because it's coming directly from inside, where the activity is taking place, you'll be able to see afterwards. And it flows down to the bath area. And there you can use the mud, they got some mud in the pool, you can put it on your skin. Like you take mud pack, which is very therapeutic as well. But it's good for rheumatism, arthritis, skin rashes, mosquito bites and burns, especially if you have eczema and psoriasis. That's why we take the bath low down. Okay, and the water from here flows down to the Diamond Falls Botanical Garden in Sufriye and then to the ocean. As the water flows through the mineral settles, so it gets much cooler and much clearer. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll take a walk. But now we are standing at an elevation of approximately a thousand feet above sea level. We used to walk down there before. We used to actually climb the domes, mm -hmm. go in between. At that time, we used to even boil eggs. But today we cannot because the ground itself, itself inside has gotten very unstable. Because with all the hurricanes every year, the rainwater mm -hmm. keeps on eroding the topsoil. Mm -hmm. And certain parts of the ground is left like thick sand. Mm -hmm. So if you have to walk in, you can easily collapse down. It has its top. It also happened about 25 years ago. There was a tour guide named Gabriel. He was showing some people around. And Gabriel went stamping on the ground, demonstrating to them how the ground was. And it was a flat place where he continued stamping on. The ground suddenly broke, it collapsed with him, his waist. He suffered second degree's burn. But I must say, Gabriel was such a lucky man because he's not dead, he's not crippled. He was yeah. hospitalized for a few months. Gabriel is fine, but just to say his legs are badly scarred, but he survived it, he couldn't walk. They named the hole after him, which is called the Gabriel's Hole. Oh. That's the one at the front. You can see right all the. There. Yeah, the oh, bubble coming out from. But to the back of it is a small pool, the middle, the largest. The one to the left with all the steam is the hottest. 
because towards the hillside there is a lot of pressure. You see how it's bubbly? Yeah. And the steam temperature there escapes at 340 degrees Fahrenheit. But the water stays boiling, it has 12 to 12 Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius. Mm, the water looks very grey, like yes. I said, because of the chemical reaction. So that's a very view from here, which flows all down to where we take the bath and to the diamond falls. So if you go visiting the diamond falls, you can see the same cloudy colour. Okay. <laughs> so we can try that one and we're going to try some more. Okay. 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 Hot, hot. It's so hot that your body could manage this. <laughs> okay. This is like just a warm bath. And I'm good. <laughs> Feel it? Yeah, I'm feeling it. I feel like a real warm bag. That's what it feels like. It's cool. Mm.